And we will see a smoke towards the red room to get this T-side pistol started. Frozen on the receiving end of a lot of bodies. And he's actually Ooh. just going to go down empty-handed. There is a test for Rops immediately. And it's Yabby that puts him in the dirt with that scavenged USP. Now the pressure on. Oh. Hey, he's taking them all down. Device will find Rain. Round done. Crisp for Yabby. That's what we like to see. Him and Stown in group stages as well. Certainly a threat. And, uh, you know, Alex, talking of the Kool-Aid, talking of the Astralis era, back on our screens, perhaps. Uh, was it you that said yesterday, one, number one team, we just don't know it yet? Yeah. You know, tongue-in-cheek, but also high expectation, which I like for this team. I think this is the perfect event to prove it when they've already got the the reel from Chengdu knowing that they can perform against Tier 1 teams. And now we're in, like, this perfect, essentially, group stage event. No big right. stage for the playoffs here in Malta. A small crowd and high stakes, but... You know, we want to talk Stown and Yabby. We have seen them crumble in playoffs. I don't think Pro League's the same, though. No, that's fair. Have they won Pro League online? No. Why not? They weren't the best team. Yeah. I mean, if, it, if, if it's not a big stage and, you know, it doesn't really matter as much, so why can't, that would be a perfect tournament yeah, for that old heroic right. spot to win. You're absolutely right. They won the online one, though, Alex. Maybe, you though, remember that? Yeah, maybe with Bro and Stair at the, uh, at the helm, they'll be able to uh, have a degree of consistency. It was good to be, it'll be good to see Bro and Stair tested in this environment a bit more after Chengdu. Pretty sure they got grouped last season. I'm double-checking it. Yeah, they got... They got grouped by Monty in the ah, lower bracket. So that's when they made the changes. Yeah, they're like, yo, this bro kid's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he was on the team, actually. Oh, dear. Well, it's a long way to winning Pro League. We'll say that. There are rounds on rounds on rounds in those playoffs. And they've, can they've skip maps a on maps on maps, as we saw and discussed yesterday. Over 106 officials this year from FaZe Clan. And Astralis has played like 15 or <laughs> yeah, 20 exactly. you know, at, at most. Yeah, that's what happens when you miss Copenhagen. This is a lineup for Device. Going to be throwing out a smoke of his own design. And very simple finish. Just going to be walking on into the open bomb site, collecting themselves their second round. And I guess it's in FaZe's best interest to have a second buyer of the cherry with these three Deagle and SMG. Yeah, never count out a Rain Deagle. You know, Brokey as well, so... No need to force too much in this round, just play for the next. I think for me it's just, yeah, sure, Astralis has looked good. And then you have Chengdu where we didn't have, you know, no spirit, no vitality, no Navi. Mm. And the the first playoff game they end up losing to FaZe. Okay, that's a tough opponent. And they beat them in groups when, I mean, they're probably going to beat them here as well, just because it's a group stage game. Um, but I think there there has to be... The body of work has to be much bigger before we can talk about them being the best team in the world. Like, what? You really are drinking the Kool-Aid. Like, I think they'll be a contender team. I thought this for the old Astralis line. By the start of the year, I, po I, I pointed out them at Spirit as two of the teams that weren't, like, in the conversation that have potential to be really, really good. Was right about one, was really wrong about the other. <laughs> yeah, but it's a scatter shot, you know. You just celebrate the ones you were right about. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. You don't talk about the other ones. No. And then you always you just look smart. But I will agree that, you know, the, the early signs look good. It's There's good team play, good structure, yes. right? The vibes seem good for the team. The Vice hasn't forgotten how to play just because he's an in-game leader, if anyone thought that was going to happen. Well, he did have a bad series uh, last time these teams faced. Just 28 frags in three maps. It was an unlikely performance from him. 0 0.87 rating. Uh, and that might have been resulted in some of the monitor abuse mm. we saw hopefully production will be keeping their eyes tightly he on the device cam he promised we yeah won't. but we've got to hold them to it we've yeah, got to, yeah yeah you know. yeah oh yeah yeah you've got to be careful when there's a rain dig in the server as yanko said he's fired off a pot shot they are walking into the stack as it currently stands what could go wrong well with good smokes probably not much you molly back pillar they can only really be cubby and then you smoke short and wrap on into the site they've got themselves in very few opportunities for FaZe to contribute. Nice and easily done for Astralis. The more alive, the better. And FaZe will be buying up next regardless, so Astralis don't feel the need to go hunting, go fighting. They will just relax. As will we. Because Rops get away with his SMG. 
No. Ah. No, he does not. And I think what, you know, when oh, you say... Come on. That's... That's so geeky. Oh, and then bro gets the crowd. Who yeah. cares? Oh, oh okay. yeah, you know. Yeah. Let him off. Imagine he gets that rifle. That would have been crazy. So, all good in the hood. 3 zero. But when you talk about a team having, like, good structure and fundamentals, it's... it's the things like this, you know, not missing your utility, actually using the utility that you have, not leaving things to chance, covering each other, having good team play, right? And, and we see that from Astralis early on. Very much so, which is a, you know, usually something that takes the longest to develop. So the fact that it's... Well, it's the foundations that matter. You have to make it that way from the get-go. Yes. It's difficult to change midway through. That makes sense too. They've got three postured to be early, but the bomb's not with them. So is this a bit of a kind of a oh. double pump, you reckon? Flash is mid as they just walk contact into Carrigan. They're trying to surprise him. It's only one man. It's going to need a multi-kill or this round could just slip by the wayside. It's one for one, but Astralis now have control. If they can get the long plant, this is perfect. They've got great positions now. Stairs going to be a little bit late, but they're considering the cave. Swinging with a Ooh. perfect flash. Rain is gone in an instant. Four on three. Phase forced to save Astralis running the board. Yeah, that was really cool. Uh, you see also Astralis uses four smokes at the start of the round, right? That signals they want to fight. They want to take mid control. Then it's quiet. You see that little extra bit of utility from device. So now FaZe is thinking, oh, okay, it's a delayed mid take. But meanwhile, you just have three guys going up contacting B. Kerrigan does a decent job of one for one in that situation. Couldn't ask much more of him. But I mean, that was a perfect flash from Stomp because Rain wasn't fully open in the angle. He's holding just the, the pixel. And after that, FaZe really is out of position to even attempt the retake. So this is what we were talking about with Carrigan. He did everything he could uh, in that respect. Hugo and Yanko both are testing. It's hard to expect or demand a second out of him there. But yeah, this flash from Stown. You can see Yabby's happy with it. Happy result. And for FaZe, it's quite the opposite. They've called their first tactical time. I've got Neo on the mic. Trying to put this brain trust to action as to how they're going to get off this goose egg. One of the factors that uh, was so very prominent was Brokey. Brokey uh, certainly helped put Astralis down in their affair in that semi-final. We'll see if he's going to show himself yet to see his name in the kill feed. Well, now he's got that AWP. You would expect to see some aggressive CT maneuvers. It's not always uh, Brokey's cup of tea. Let's see. Round five. Zona archeologica. You know, Hugo speaks Portuguese, just doesn't tell anyone. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? It's yeah. wild. It's like his little secret. I'll whip it out eventually. One day. Some say I'm joining Furia, but they wanted to go international, so... Oh! Well, that's... that's a pace change. <laughs> that's off of a the complete course. pace change. They're just running at them. They're in B. They are through. And it's over unless Robs has actually managed to catch the perfect little angle onto Yabby. Wasn't ready for that one, was he? But bro, again, this is a triple kill impact round. He's just run up the ramp and killed two Yanko. Is that it? Is that the strap? Yeah, just go B? Well, it's just also, you know, FaZe is taking a timeout. So some, sometimes teams like when, when the opponents take a timeout to CT, you just switch it up. You call something fast. You call a rush uh, to sort of throw their plan out the window. But this is something that Astralis likes to do. They have a lot of, on, on Ancient, they have a lot of momentum calling and they have these plays set in. I think it, the only thing that was missing for FaZe is an extra HE, right? Like those oh. HEs just completely stop any sort of a rush. And I think it was a molly and an HE, but it was even a little bit deeper. And you could see how Bro went through the flames yeah. and just, I mean, that was a spray transfer for him as well. Set up aggressively as well, able to trade that third player. Let's check it out. Perfect molly on default. Bro sweeps him. And Brokey, some nice shots on the save will allow an orb, but it's an eco otherwise. Actually, I say that they can buy full. A little tech for phase. And Astralis with some El Clasico calling, just pace swapping. 5-0 up on T-side Ancient. Their pick. And in full control right now, FaZe need answers quick. 
And yeah, I think it's just, you know, if you want to, you know, to you stop a rush or, or you make it really difficult with HEs, right? They can yeah. always smoke the molly. And even now, if you do end up throwing the smoke, sure, then you don't throw the HE because it will, you know, break it. But you might not see them coming. You might get blind. And the fact that they're running through the smoke doesn't help you at all. But that HE does a lot of damage. It slows them down. You go deaf as well from it. So that makes it a little bit more difficult to sort of orientate yourself. That's why, you know, if you want to, if you, if your opponents are doing hot rush on you, you just throw two HEs in hot every round and there's, you, you can't get out of it. It's just impossible. Yeah, you're in the mud, your ears are ringing, and it seems our timeout has elapsed. We are about ready to get back into things. The tech issue was headset related, so keep your eyes on Frozen. Make sure he's uh, reacting to the sound he hears. We can see how this sixth round goes down. Will they get themselves started with the double orbs, perhaps? Dorping. Ropsicle and Brokey. A lot of those instas miss today, and more of them in this round. Astralis is going to swing out mid fearless here. Stare what? through the smoke. Oh, he has a feeling, and he fires right through. That is gross. Dutty. This is the same smoke combination like the first gun round. Now they just actually go for mid, and Stare hits a blinder. Oh, Rob's. Oh, he's feeling the pressure. So is Carrigan. The Molly forces him in. Rob's can Ooh. get away with double. Go on. Uh, yeah. That's a good measure. That's the second orb difference. Brokey puts his name in the feed as well. And now Yabby finds himself towards that big box. Good luck. Have fun. Half HP and three to find. Molly's well placed. Does isolate Rob's. Forces him wide. First of three is clean. Gotta find out where Rain's coming from. He knows Brokey was CT orping. He's already naded him down, but Brokey's on the full reset, setting up for f so FaZe can trade. And Yabby doesn't have forever. He's making a cross. He's got to get past this donut angle, though. Back for the bomb for Yabby. If he goes cold and quiet, he can make FaZe doubt this, but FaZe aren't the type of team to move in this position. They just stay centered, ready to fight with one another. Yabby has to cross pass and with this long and Brokey not attempting a peek, surely Yabby's made this read. Clearing Temple, 25 seconds. You must know what's going on, but this AWP on the cross might just end the round before it even begins for Yabby, unless he swings it. Oh, oh great shot! Sheesh. 1v1, can he work it out? Where's Rain gotten off to? 15 seconds, Yabby fake again, forcing a fight. Rain goes out and saves the round for FaZe. We needed a hero. It was getting out of control, and Rain is that guy. Whoa, yeah, I love the read from Yabby. He really pieced that round together. Well played by Rain, just quicker on the trigger, but a very valiant attempt from Yabby to keep the sheet clean. It would have been six, and considering the way Rops had racked up this triple, the fact it even got close is admirable. This is Rain's closer. You can see not a single bullet touching him. So Phaser on the board. It's important. About time. Comes at a cost, though. Ripe for reset, with Astralis taking four kills in that round. Two on two start. Interesting. So they are worried about something quick and pacey towards A. Back to that B side comes Frozen. Could flash Carrigan down the ramp. Might be the best option with the MP9. Timing is everything though, and the orb waits. Very passive for device, hoping to find this Dane. Carrigan's just jiggling with smoke, so more of a reaction flash lined up for Frozen. Astralis are going to have to be the ones to make that first move. Jump spot comes in, Carrigan concedes, and the smoke comes down. Let's get that out of the way. They baited a good amount of utility from the CTs, right? Brocky on the AWP, the only one with utility left. And even he doesn't have a smoke anymore. Nice push, though. Yeah, he manages to get the trade from Carrigan. Just pushing down the ramp, so just Rain and Frozen here. A lot of responsibility Sorry. on Rain. They know his default as well. They wish they had a molly, but the gun will do it instead. Yabby can pop them out of the cave. It's only Frozen in the sight. Frozen's got so much to do here. If they want to even have a look in at this round, the molly's going to oh. limit his options. He's got nothing. There is a little bit of an opportunity. If he gets this first one, he could peek around the Molotov. Ice on fire. And a potential second. Now his hopes dwindle. 
Robson Brokey are flirting with the idea of coming Ooh. back for this one. Not far off on the spam towards that corner on the reload. Oh, Yabby nearly lets it go. Uh, Brokey, he'll find the force push of Yabby. It's too far, isn't it? That's what I'm thinking. Brokey and Robs, they are sniffing it out. He's being loud about this. He's throwing for it. They're going oh. for it. 1v2 for Robs. No kit now. Brokey may have had one. But he's got to get out. Yeah. They concede the round. Astralis will take it, albeit a costly one. But Device will save his AWP regardless. Astralis are happy with that again. Just catching that default player, and they're winning B off of one kill, it feels like. Even though Rops was at... Who was it, Rain? Towards CT, hangs around, still gets a one for one. Oh, uh, Frozen. Frozen. That's the one. It's that guy. This is the kill yeah. that wins the round. And we saw that happen a couple of times to Rain. I mean, okay, first time he was full blind, good flash play from Astralis. This time he is forced into a fight, he loses out the duel. Two timeouts forced already, seven rounds of play. Phase are in the washing machine. What do you make of this call here? Carrigan's tried to level out the money. You've got a little bit of an SMG investment, some well, Kev. Let's see if Astralis does another rush <laughs> after yeah. a timeout. True. Maybe Insta it would be a. a little bit too obvious. Oh, they're going A. You might be cooking. So Donut Smoke and Red Smoke. So you've got no a. info, no answers mid. If they push Cave, they're going to have answers quick. The one gun's here. Yeah, Rob's tested, and only the one. Yabi, quick to put him down. Frozen coming in through Temple to receive. Bomb on the back of Device, making its way in towards the A site. There is a deep donut smoke that's very well placed. And with the loss of Frozen, it should be open season for a plot. But Carrigan's ahead of the smoke, and it's a problem. It's a huge problem for Astral. It's a double kill from Carrigan. Awkward now. Yabi and Stair separated. And isolated, Yabby goes down another frag from Carrigan. This is a triple kill. He's doubled his kills in one round alone. And it puts Stare into a clutch. Felt like Yabby had the perfect play for a kill there with Carrigan forced into him by the nade, but he wasn't ready for the close fight. And that makes his clutch very difficult. If Brokey dies, Carrigan can trade. He's looking the wrong way. This this may be just two kills instantly for Stare. I don't know if Carrigan can turn quick enough. There's the kill. Carrigan in the open. There's a double spray from Stare. Three kills in an instant, and another clutch for Astralis. <laughs> How's he done that? Yeah, that third is sick. Actually sickening. Full control of that. That's a headshot on the third. We'll watch that one again. This, I can watch this in super slow-mo. Look at the control. Wow. Headshot. Oh. Yeah, yeet. Everyone looks up. That's the power of the glass. You just have, hey, how are you feeling about that one? How does that one feel? Oh, and just Carrigan here in his country, man, yelling them down in Danish. Oh, 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 hyper aggression. It's actually worked for FaZe. Pace changes have been really nice for Astralis, right, in this T side, even though this round is ooh, um, a little cooked now with a Miss Molotov. They've got more to throw in this corner if they really want to clear it, if they really believe, and they did. Rob still goes one for one. Carrigan through the smoke, punished by Device in a very default position. Not a 2v4, lads. Yeah, this would be awkward. Rain can save the day right now. He didn't spot Yabby coming out, but low health. Oh, he's just ring around the rosy Rain. Surely someone called it. Yabby did. He knows what's up, takes that kill, and now the bomb path is open on this B site. Rain is not having a fun day, no. Alex. I can, no. I can tell you that. Oh, the little tiny, tiny timing. Brokey, he's having a hot and bothered time as well. Straight through the flames, down to 40. Devices posted, and oh, a nice shot Ollie. to make it a 1v1. He oh, could even do it on the yeah. pistol. Oh, oh Yabby yeah, stutter steps. Invades the first shot. He's such low HP. Even the molly oh. could cause problems for him. The smoke will already get Yabby nervous. That really limits his options. There is time on this. Oh, kids. Yeah, he has to just hope yeah, and pray. Yabby just charges through, and he's on his way out. Accepts defeat. <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Yabby's just confused now, but he'll get out. Brokey survives with the orb. Yabby dead to the bomb, but 
Nonetheless, is Astralis putting on another round? And a 2v4. 114 ADR for Yabby in this half so far. He's been, uh, it's been laying it on thick. I mean, well, the frags. I think also the frustration of just a shot, you know, frags. faced with another nightmarish um, game on uh, on Ancient versus Astralis. And from Kerrigan, that last round where he gets the triple kill and they still lose out the the 3v1 in the end. Now you can see, you know, that smoke push really uncalled for, giving away his life and then Rain gets unlucky timing again on B. Oh! Stare through smoke. Whoa. Stare through walls, perhaps. Astralis have got their eye on it. And they've seen Carrigan ready at ramp. He can deploy his smoke. Astralis have just been winning rounds off of the B entries. And FaZe are cautious. Not wanting to fight down ramp anymore. They lose cave control. It's two guns without any utility on this B bomb site right now. Astralis don't have a lot either, but they can throw just one set from device and that will get them in. A molly on default will cause a lot of problem for Rain. And out it goes. He's got a pick to play inside of the site, giving that control to Astralis. They are edging closer and closer to their goal. Yeah, Stair's been spotted out as well by this long player. They've got two there. The oh, no. have to bay and switch. Oh. Carrigan. Oh. Ugly. Yeah, not pretty. Frozen is in donor to receive them. Three of them charging towards him. He needs a multi-kill here. Has a smoke, but it doesn't matter. He's going to have to fight his way out. Only the one. Oh. Rops holds on. Just live. Yeah, they got 30 seconds. They're going to be able to find him eventually. Now that smoke favors Astralis. Oh my god. This you, is... the, you have the bomb. Wait. Not again, Ray. You have the bomb. Oh, that's he the worst. He pushed the smoke with the bomb and Device gets robs as well. Broke it! Oh. Come <laughs> Astralis are doing the impossible. Oh, that's filth. Poor Rain. Poor Rain. Stan, you got the bomb, mate. Yeah, no, just one second. BR just, back. Yeah, just... BRB. Oh, that's. God, Rain's having a nightmare. If you watch this from Rain's POV, you would be punching monitors. What? You will never see Rain do that, though. No, no that's true. License to punch. Oh, oh lost oh, bullet! Oh, lost oh, bullet! Take. <laughs> oh, get owned. <laughs> when your opponent's having a really good day and you are having the opposite. Yeah, another missed insta. That's two now for FaZe in middle. Not ideal, but not punished at least. And this is phase is also like fourth buy in a row. You know, yeah. they, they're, they're a little bit... Are they in. thinking about nuke? Let's just get this nightmare <laughs> over with and, and move to nuke. Oh dear. Not purposefully, obviously, no. but also, you know, like you're always... Look at the money for Astralis. They're winning how many rounds in a row and, you know, if they lose this one round without a plan, their buy isn't great. It's been... In the, in the four rounds one, they've had total four players alive combined. They just want to finish the job, put them on pistols, but it won't come easily here as we look to round out the half. Astralis, B pick, and they wait for more device miss shot. They're coming swinging, phase of fighting for this control. And they may live to regret it. Re-aggressing in cave is nice, but device has sniffed it out. He's moved all the way up the ramp. He saw exactly what they were up to there. Boost up for Rain. Got a nice angle. Frozen provides cover. They need this kill. Rain is there to help out. Device hunts the kill down. And Frozen's low. Should be oh. easy pickings. No one can finish their meal. Bro goes back for more. This is so ugly. 2v2. Robs can save the day. Bro needs another clutch. Yeah, but this is what Bro does. Especially on Ancient ED. He sees you. Spots the shadow, but with 15 seconds. I just don't see a world where he's going to be able to get these kills and get that bomb. 10. Yeah. What are you doing, bro? Where are you going, bro? They're just playing with him, <laughs> hiding in the smoke. Thank you very much. They might even be able to try and kill him after time. They'll get him. But ahead of it. So two rounds for FaZe. Just their second round so far in this best of three. And what you were saying, I think, is perfectly going to be embodied here in this final round. They've just had their fingertips on in some of these uh, round wins. As you said, four alive for Astralis in the four rounds they'd converted most recently. And now they've got, well, it's Tech Nines for the final round. Will FaZe find the third? It feels necessary. Most definitely. And it's one of those games where you're like, okay, this is just not our map, and you're, you're oh. still trying. Oh, oh what? what? 
free on the spray. Okay. He lays the smoke and owns it. But all it takes for that to change is just a couple of rounds. Like, Moments like this, where your player gets a big highlight moment, you know, gets everyone hyped up, you're starting to believe, you win the second pistol round, all of a sudden it's, you know, 9-6 um, in the first gun round, right, of the second Ooh, half. Nice change. <laughs> and we're, oh, I was going to say done. Device wants to long it out, give it a go. He's got Frozen's weapon, and he'll try to put it to use. But FaZe put it to bed with three at the end of their CT side. Some crisp taps from Brokey. We'll need more in a pistol round as FaZe try and pull this one back. All of the counter, all of the strike, all of the time. It's ESL Pro League, it continues into our second half. First map, Ancient. It's been nice from Astralis. FaZe having a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Uh, we get to kind of inception in so that we can witness and watch their nightmare unfold before our very eyes. Well, I don't want to doom, I don't want to gloom, but I think I will for a moment. And the only worry here for FaZe is that if you lose this game, you tackle VP in the mid bracket. Yeah. yeah, you just recoiled at that concept. That sends you to low bracket if you lose. No one wants to be in the last chance, Alex. And no one wants to play VP. Well, FaZe does. 
because that's where they are every single tournament. They do their best work. Mm. That's where they do their best work. The long route. This is a lineup I haven't seen. I like it. If you want any player to have a crappy first half, then it would be Rain because he's not going to care. Like he's going to play the same in the second half, and meaning it's not as difficult for him to turn it around as maybe some other players. There in the spotlight, loses his head and Yabby and Stown for well as well. There Rain is go. back, baby, and he's cracking heads. Oh, pistol locked in for FaZe. Nothing broken, dude. No clutch today. Well, say. what have you done, Hugo? Caster cursing the clip of the year. Don't give him anything, Rain. Bro with a glow up. In the Astralis jersey, but Frozen with the backstab will conceal or concede. No, he won't. Wait. He will win the pistol. Yeah, that one. We'll get there. Okay, well, I mean, I get there's certainly some grounds for a conversation to be had, as well as we get to see what how Astralis' uh, second round CT buys shape up. Sure, FaZe, you can take the pistol, but can you survive? This second round, it's Mac 10s up against uh, a couple of exposed heads. Bro, stare, and device unable to afford the helmet. So I would imagine these Mac 10s are going to have a field day. It'd be hard to paint a picture where this goes completely awry. But a deagle headshot from stare would start us off nicely. Yabby down, you heard that sound, a squelch as the Mac 10 finds two heads. Wet. Squishy. Moist. Not bad. Nice. Click clack. Paddy whack. Give device a bone. <laughs> oh. Deagle jumped over the moon. This, this is Chev on the keyboard. Yeah, you can this tell. This quick switching, yeah. catching everything. That's my boy out Doesn't there. miss a thing, does he, Chev? Yeah, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does face come back? Does face come back, Shell? Uh, first for full round, it's decided. Shev, is our is our friendship Steam official? We said we were going to play to the last night, and I couldn't even see you online. Uh, yeah, he does this thing where he goes invisible after. to does not play with you guys anymore. Yeah, he says <laughs> you're terrible. He prefers playing with his Serbian friends. All right, well, <laughs> but that's try. mostly because Hugo never tries. That's that's with you, Alex. That's I'm a hyper-competitive Yanko. You wouldn't know. You've never played. You actually never joined the Rushley official team speak. Oh, you in there. Okay. A fifth oh, as well denied. Actually, yeah, Rob denied. stole it. Rob's got yeah. it. Yeah, Yanko, when are you going to show up and, and, and play in, with your friends? In. Sorry, are we just co-workers to you? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Not... <laughs> Not all of you, just you. Oh, Alex right. and I are friends. Oh. We talk all the time. Yeah, dude, can't stop. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. But he demands I message him on Telegram. Oh, and, uh, okay. I don't know why. He's a Telegram exclusive. Dodgy user. dealings. Yeah, because I'm far right wing. That's where I was going with that, yeah. yeah. No, it was all about political <laughs> allegiance. 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 Elijah. Hey there, Elijah. Elijah. Mr. Wood one time. Shev said the first gun round. Decides it all. Decides it all. Double okay. Mac 10s, not what you want to be either. But FaZe with some pace perhaps towards the cave. likes it. He prefers a Mac 10. Jumping oh, through the smoke. this. You wouldn't do this with an AK. You wouldn't do this. You wouldn't, steal. You wouldn't download a car. Oh, oh, and you will get backstabbed by Yabby. Look at, known to do that coming to the caves. Off. Rain in the sight. Nice off angle. Device was not ready, walks right in as Rain looks Go for on. two. What a recovery from Rain. That first half was abhorrent, but Rain coming back into this round. He gets double face down by the ex heroic players. Still, he's created the space. Frozen has taken the A site and then some. Yeah, you think Yabby's like, yeah, I've got the off angle. I'm 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 past them. They won't clear this. Well, that goes both ways. No way he's ready for Frozen. Yeah, I don't think uh, there's, a, there's a universe where Yabby gets away with a kill on Frozen here. As long as Frozen just stays as he is, the uh, line in the sand has most definitely been drawn. So with Faze, they are clawing this one back quite convincingly and quickly. This will be number four in their uh, unblemished T side. Yeah, it's been really clean as well. Yeah. I think, though, very important if Astralis can save these two guns, not for the next round, but more so for the overall economy for them, if uh, they're going to be able to close out the map. 
is going to start accumulating over time, so it allows you to squeeze an extra gun round or have an op for device where otherwise, you know, you would have inferior weaponry. So they just chill their beans, and the gap continues to close. Stown, where are you at? Stare. We saw we saw a lot of him in the uh, first couple of rounds. He got a bit quiet. This was a big rain round, though. Just yeah. on his own into the site. Gets two. Could have had more. Wow. Oh, okay, damn, guys. guys. Okay, ten points to production. Flexing the camera work. I'll give that a nine point eight. Room for improvement. There What's always missing? is. Uh, I felt like the fade could have been done a bit, you know, color matching. You know, room for improvement. There always is. Yo. Oh, I think the guy that was that did the transition's not too happy with that. Just had a ghost in the machine. Uh, well, top so. point two. There's only two rounds separating these two teams. According to Chev's Law, FaZe are back in the game. It would be funny if they just... Rushed B now. This the is way the new meta, folks. The extinguished from spawn. Ooh. A geeky one. The device smoke. Apparently he stole it from someone else, but hey, that's oh, how it well, works. But that's know. how it works. Olaf didn't make that boost. Someone yeah. on Reddit did. Exactly, but you know, Ganjaman1201 <laughs> doesn't get any credit. He does now. Love him for that. Phase, it's not a B rush, but it is a B. And they're buzzing their way right up the ramp almost immediately at 130. Carrigan's up on long side and yeah, pistols here aren't going to put up much defense. Whoa. It's a nice dink, but Util locks the rest of Astralis out. And I feel like guarantees this round, Astralis is just going to play to contain. Not going to be easy with Brokey's all bearing down. And another rifle almost removed. Device makes things interesting, but he's just setting up the save. I think this is where Brokey doesn't play with the op anymore on T side on this half. After that one? Because you remember what he said um, that post game interview, and uh, I, then I missed that shot on overpass with the op and just played with the M4. <laughs> and he was the he was highest sick. rated yeah. player, yeah. I'm sure that, you know, uh, they wouldn't be too upsetting for FaZe. They could always work around the absence of the AWP, especially on Ancient as well. Then again, T side orbing on Ancient feels like you can have a lot of impact if you're doing it right. So those two rifles, you've discussed it, gives them long longevity to Astralis' CT side, but they do need to find a winning formula shortly. Yeah, this is feeling like a phase game right now when you consider nukes coming up next with a map in the pocket, Astralis' history track record on that map, not even to mention Mirage as a third. If phase pull a comeback from 9-3, a 2-0 could go the other way. Now they're doing aggressive B lane util, so smoke doors. Does that uh, get respected by FaZe? I think that's my first question. It looks like they've actually mollied and pushed through. Worth burning that smoke on the molly just to get this control. Astralis is still going to keep the pressure on. Three strong at B device, bearing down from long side. Meanwhile, FaZe making a ruckus on this B side, but it's all a ruse. They're walking up on A with that AW. They call it off. You know, they've burnt a lot of the util, and Astralis have two smokes in this round. Not sure what phase they're trying to do here. Resetting for a mid-take? They don't even have a cave or heaven control. This could be dangerous. Astralis have no one in position to stop them, though. Device just getting smoked off. They just did, like, the close tree molly on A. Forced a bit of a rotate. Now they've taken mid-space away. Going for the... Yeah, all the way around the world. A split? Fake A split. Oh. Oh. Yep, now they will. They've taken down Yabby. Stare. God, he's multiple, multiple oh. kills here. Controls the spray for nice. two and no scope back from Brokey. Still tough. Yeah, not easy, especially with Device in this power position. He'll be able to disrupt that run of the bomb. Time-sensitive mission for Brokey. He doesn't clear his corners. Device in prime Ooh. position to try and deny. Flash is good. Slows him down. Now Brokey gets the bomb in. Missing. No oh, he yeah. tries his luck at retreating Donut. Now Robs is in the clutch. An impossible one with Device clearing Ooh. his corners. And we have ourselves a tenth and the first Astralis CT round. The flash for Ops was great. It actually gave Brokey the room to commit to the bomb, and he heard the scope of device. That's why he runs away, not wanting to crouch into the AWP, but Astralis had two players set up spawn. They were not going to let him get out. Great double for Stare as well. Brokey's no scope. It's the only thing that stops it. 
And a clinical round for Astralis where they play towards the back line and Device is just very mobile. Plays B mid and A in that round. Just desperate to get involved. 10 to 8 now. Astralis get their first round all half. Deep donut again. Oh, look at mid. It's it's all mid. It's not A. It's free. Free for now. Stare to disrupt. Just throws his head in the vice. Frozen will take him out. To the A side. Oh, it's just been defended through smoke. Broke you a catch device on Temple. Three on three. Let's try to give this a look. Oh, they will now. Rob's down. A main open for business. Brokey trying to get across to contribute to maintain control. CT, Donut, and you know A main is coming. And oh, oh, just on the push. What? Through the smoke and no scope from Brokey. Carrigan combines. Only Stown in a one on one. Smoke on the bomb. Does no, bomb's on the left. Oh, he's not on the bomb. And that makes it even worse. The smoke will fade. He's exposed. Brokey confirms he's not on it. And just oh, like that. It's Brokey's fine. He's got it and done it. <laughs> does he leave with a kill? No. No, yes, he does. Yeah. All right. Brokey's, Brokey's such a little troll. He is. Just spamming the wall. Nearly had oh. him. Nearly had him. It's a tilter. Stan just wants the swing. Just give me the give me the glory. Oh, yeah, and if it just that extra second of glancing at the bomb before he throws the smoke, he would have had a much more uh, tantalizing prospect in front of him. This is already a smoke down, so maybe he feels like that's exactly. his teammate on the bomb. It's perfect. Can't hear its precise position. Ah, uh, Carrigan looking up on that one. Big smile. <laughs> Remember how that first half went? Yeah. Different game now for FaZe. Kai, it would be one hell of a recovery. A 9-3 with what was essentially... 9-1. This is where all that extra money comes into play for Astralis. That's what allows them to have this buy, to have the AWP. And I think, you know, that last round, two guys walking through the smoke, I, I don't think that's bad. I actually like that because you, you, you want to try and keep face contained. You're coming from three different sides. It's just unfortunate how it panned out at the very end. Oh, I like that. Maybe meant to land in cave, but... Nice all the same. Yeah, it does everything, actually. Cave and Heaven. No control for Astralis, or at least no info. Face do the same default. Two, three. Maybe looking to end day again on this donut split as they late take mid. No grenades for Astralis. One flash. No kit. Oh, sorry. Yabby has one, but Face have a wealth right now. Frozen's bog danning. Stown's just playing his position will Rain challenge him, known as the caveman. Gonna get his sticks and stones out and take Stown down as they set up for this mid-split. Yeah, he got flashed off the line as well. Device unable to contribute. Wanna flip the net. It's good from Bro. Catches Rain and slips away. Ooh. Uh, Carrigan's opened up the B-side oh, nicely. They're gonna overlook Yabby. Oh my discipline. God. That was oh. ballsy. He did wait a little bit. Oh. Couldn't wait long enough for Frozen. Surprise he bit. He could have held that for way longer, right? Like, last... Yeah, there was no one else. Maybe he thought more players were already up the ramp. They were a little bit delayed with that bomb, but just took this shot after about five seconds. It's not like Carrigan turned. Gets really nothing from it. Overall, it's all phase. And even Stair has to fight for survival on the save. Should be okay. Phase don't have unlimited money. Do have balls and orbs, and not can be said for Astralis. They are down to three to four k a player. This is a very uncomfortable position. They probably shouldn't buy pistol armor and take a breather because Face's comeback is here. Yeah, you go for the half buy because Face is not on twelve yet. You would just be giving them the eleventh round, and then you can full buy after that. That was actually pretty sick, considering it's from Frozen, yeah. right? He's on 10 HP to get that trade kill on Yabby. If he loses out the fight, then, you know, Yabby can do even more damage. The round turns on his head. And yeah, Rain with the duel in cave. Stan is also not having the best of games so far. A lot of MP9s in this half by Probably some 
early aggression from Astralis. Yeah, let's see it. So you start with 3B. Yeah, be responsible for mid. Oh, I like the underhand of the smoke. It limits their donut options. Just scared someone's behind it. Frozen will track round to red. Phasar looking for early B again. Astralis will meet good. them there. Yeah, this flash could catch Robs in his current position. Nice Molly. Oh, it all hangs in the balance of this aggression from Bro. The flash Here to rule them the all. Flash. Robs is blind. They're pushing in. He's hidden oh. in the smoke. He's got away with wow. it. Robs. As vision returns, destruction arrives. Bro gone. Frozen slipping red. It's a big one for Carrigan. A very big one for Carrigan. Two headshots into B. God. Round secure. Astralis are crumbling before our very eyes. Big one from Yavi. Carrigan's had huge impact kills on this T side, on this B bomb site, getting the entries, trading out, being bro's problem. Gabby does sneak in ahead of the smoke, though. Are they looking? Does he want to full commit here? Robs is right there. No one's even considering this play. Just hoping he won't go for it. Yabby, it's now or never, buddy. And it might be the latter. Smoke on cave, that will turn their eyes. Rob's now considering both options. On this fade, it's 50-50. Yabby, one bullet, it will connect. Brokey on the bomb site, pre-fired. Yabby running out of time, and all the stands between phase and an 11th round. There is no way he can ace, he can't do anything more, and he won't even do that. 11 for phase from 9-3 down on the precipice from, of taking Astralis's map. From 9-1. Oh. 9-1. Oh. It is now 11-10. Damn. That is a hell of a comeback from FaZe Clan. And they really looked like they're out of it, like proper yeah. bamboozle. And now they've come into this second half. They've shown that actually it's just Ancient. Ancient's T-sided now. This extreme, I'm not so sure. But uh, for these two teams, it seems. Eight and one, the current scoreline in our second half. It's FaZe Clan in full control. They're trying their luck with the more standard CT setup. Starting with two middle. Taking that space away. With Frozen and Rocks dispatched towards A, I'm intrigued. Without the bomb, what could, what's their main objective here? A bit of a presence? A bit of a frag, perhaps? Yeah, put some pressure, you know, maybe go for a sort of a double lurk play, just go for a fight. Ooh, it's nice hold. Good damage on Rops as well. Wounds him down. Yeah, it got it. Yabby's oh. distracted, and now with the loss of Stown, it's all on to Bro. Make no oh. mistake, it's Bro. He needed that. Yeah, he really did. He's he's alone on B. The bomb would have been on its way into the site. Now Rob's the distraction. Nice hunt. Easy done. And Carrigan, I said impact kills. Well, we need more than just that in this one v three. He's got the site open. He finds, if he hunts Bro, he, he has a chance. But Bro is playing super defensive, just waiting for a push. He's going to concede the plant if, if Carrigan goes for it. Oh, I like that. Long plant, but Bro could just walk in. Spam won't connect. Carrigan takes his 1v1, and he puts it to use. Device in the back line, waiting for the swing. Pistol out! Oh, oh dear, that's a mistake. Mistake. Oh god. Bro called low. Carrigan had just enough to sustain, but the flanking cave is perfectly timed, and the clutch will not come through for phase. Astralis stop it at the final hurdle. God. This is a tense game at 11 apiece. <laughs> oh man, it's not, not often you get a Carrigan 1v3 with that much uh, that much on the line. Really close to coming together there. And Stair, you're right, did an incredible job at the uh, test of eight. Bro as well, just resetting after getting that important kill. I mean, you're asking what are they trying to do. I'm not exactly sure. Like, it would make more sense for Rops to go first, right? Because yeah. he's the A player. So when you kill him, you're thinking, oh, I, I killed Rops, right. you know, and maybe you wouldn't expect a second guy. Retail. But if you kill Frozen, you're like, okay, probably Rops is here as well, at, at least. Or you're going to wait. Um, a little bit longer before you perhaps rotate or try to do something. Close one here and 11. It's been a crazy game though. Not just the, the scoreline and the huge T sides, but some crazy clutch up rounds. 
Stairs spray down. Yeah, that was a banger. That was a banger. What are we doing here, folks? Good nade yeah. damage. Yeah, they're going to set the orber up. Let Brokey go fishing, but it's just Bro here in a very passive approach. Oh, oh no! Pushing smokes and gets away with one. There's the second from Yabby. And not ready oh, for this, are dear. they? Stare gets away with one. No trade available. Rops does not commit through the smoke. And full reset, they get out like a bandit. Four on two. And FaZe don't get a chance to punish. Astralis can set up elsewhere, scramble the board, shuffle the deck. <laughs> That was a good risk from Astralis. They had a couple of strong rounds on A, shutting down these lurks or, or early aggression, and they go for a mid B setup, leave A open at the beginning of the round, and you can see like that kill he gets, they don't expect an extra player to be behind the smoke because of the aggression on lane. And the re-push on B gives them everything they need. Confirmation of FaZe's destination, and Yabi has this cross shot on the orb. Stair can walk up Temple and just swing off contact, so... From positions, you feel like FaZe have no chance in this round. Stair doesn't need to play first. Oh dear, no one can hear that yet, but... Device is creeping in and Donut, he even has a Molotov to make this extra complicated. Smoke goes down, Device is fighting for the round, Yabby draws the attention, and Stair's ready to pounce, but Device does it all! Bomb drop, Stair backstab, and Astralis map points! They are holding on. They have found their footing just when it was required of them. These last two rounds, the last one coming down to that 1v1. And now this one a bit more convincing. Could end in regulation or does overtime get secured by FaZe? It's They're certainly so not broken. looking good. Yeah, this was a very dominant arrival from Yabby here, getting himself that second kill towards lane. Stair as well, getting that frag through the smoke, pushing without that trade from Rob. Yeah, you get that <laughs> sinking feeling when he slips off. No well, maybe one hell of a call, Carrigan, because they could very well be conceding Astralis' map pick here. Come back for nothing. Cosmetic at best. They won't clear below. Yabby gets his easy double kill and Stair covers oh. the top as Yabby closes this map in a box. Astralis 13-11. A huge comeback from FaZe for nothing. And now we go to Nuke to see if FaZe can step up on their pick or if Astralis will steal their way into the playoffs here of ESL Pro League.